Hi all, I just want to do a quick video um, to show you um, an error that a student is having uh, in relation to the blender tree. So let me just look at, so the, this, this student has a character, it's called Bird, um, they've got an animation, the animation has got lots of states, one of the states is jumping, and the jumping is a blend tree, and there are uh, three animations in the, in the blend tree, uh, jump, jump two, and jump three. And uh, what the student has done, uh, uh, which correctly done, is linked up the vertical speed of the character to this to this uh, blend tree. So essentially, when the the bird is jumping up into the sky, they want this animation playing. When they're sort of transitioning, at, when they're at the very top of the jump, they want this animation playing. Um, as they're coming down, they want this animation playing. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the code to see uh, where they're going wrong. So this is um, where they currently are. Sorry, just let me find the code. So this is currently, that line that I've highlighted is currently what the code uh, is set to. So when they, when they jump, um, you're calling the vSpeed property. You're setting the vSpeed property on the animator. And you're setting it to uh, the, the, the bird's velocity in the y direction. So that's the up and down uh, velocity. And they have got the absolute value of that. So in other words, um, whatever value this is, it, if it's negative, it'll just take away the negative sign. So if it's minus 50, it just the absolute value of minus 50 becomes 50. So uh, the absolute value of a number is just, um, is if it, the number is negative, it, it takes away the negative sign. Um, so the character, the bird, in this case, we'll start on the ground with a velocity of zero. You'll press the key to make it jump, and it should be. It will, uh, depending on its force, of its velocity, will start shooting up. So it'll be at a very big velocity initially, maybe like a velocity of a hundred, uh, and that will get smaller and smaller and smaller until it reaches the top, and then it starts falling down, and it'll be getting negative. So when it hits the ground again, it might be minus a hundred. So what we're going to do is, firstly, I comment out this line. Uh, I actually can get rid of it, and I replace it with almost exactly the same, but I'm not getting the absolute value of it. Actually, let's not replace it so you can just see the, the difference. So um, um, so I'm replacing it with, with almost exactly the same line, except I've got rid of the math abs uh, absolute. So I want to, to see the, blo the, the positive and negative. Uh, and also I'm logging out the this value. So I'm just writing out to the console uh, this value. Uh, that way. Okay, so let's save it. Let's go back to the, the game. Uh, let's press play. And let me go to the scene. There's my scene. Let me go to the console. Let me clear the console. And let's do a jump. There you go. So when I, and I can, I can look at it now. I'll stop it. And I can then examine the console. So you can see here, that when I hit the jump key straight away it was given a velocity of like 86 then its velocity went down to 82, 78 so this is going up and up and up and until it reached zero there you go it reaches zero then it starts falling down and its velocity is like minus 86 when it hits the ground so let's try that one more time so I'll clear it again I press it yeah, minus 86 when it hits the ground and 86 when it's leaving. Let's clear it again. Just Yep, that's about right. It looks like it's it's about 86. So it looks like that it starts at 86 ish and when it hits the ground, it's minus 86. So that's all I really need to know. So now what I'm going to do is I go to my animator um, and I go to my blend tree. And I see that the student is expecting a value for the the, the parameter, which is uh, v speed. Um, so the, the, like, there you go, the parameter is v speed. And they've set. They're, I'll make this a little bit bigger. They're expecting a, a parameter between zero and seven. Of course, that's not true. It should be between minus this this one on the left has to be the negative number. So it's between minus sort of eighty six and plus eighty six. Something along that. So 
when the character is just leaving the ground, the minute they leave the ground, it's 86. You go up, 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 up. It's the top of the of the jump, and then it falls down to the end of the jump. So jump is at 86 when it's leaving. I'm going to set this to zero, and then this to minus 86. So here you go. You'll see that when it's leaving, it's playing jump, and then halfway up, it starts transitioning to the, the top curve, the jump two, and then it starts falling down. And that's generally the idea. Pretty, pretty simple, but that's the idea. Um, now if I hit play, and hit the jump key, and hopefully that's what the student was looking for.